Okay, uh, 164 Main Street. Martha, yes. please come join us and tell us all about what you want to do. Um, well, I'm going to the street, and uh, we've lived there since 2007, and um, it's a it's like a it's like a Victorian Queen Anne style, which there aren't many, not really many on Main Street at all. It has the you know the tower, etc. And when we bought it, it had the traditional clabbered on the front, as you can see, mm -hmm. and the signs in the rear had that asphalt, you know, those shingles. Mm -hmm. And um, so a few years ago, we and also it's nothing is insulated. So that's also part of what why we want to replace it because so, it will look better and also will give us some insulation. So we did the back of the house um, because we could without permission because it's not visible and looks so much better. And it's all because they, they they took it off. The, the original clapboard was just not viable at all. Mm -hmm. There was no insulation. It was <laughs> the clapboard was just on the studs. So, so they dig it off and they, they insulated, they clouded it, they do, you know, and it looks, it looks great. So now so that's, we want to do, yes, that's the, the comparison. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so we're just interested in doing the same thing to the sides of the house. And uh, even though the front of the house has clabbered, it's not insulated. So we just want to just uh, take the existing clabbered on okay. and insulate and okay. then put, and then so that it all looks all the same, um, which would be uh, in accordance with the original style of the house, I do believe. Did you lose any uh, when you did the rear? Is this rear? That's addition? the rear. Was this, a, is this an addition or is this the... Was um, this, well, this little this about little. was put. Now, this house, uh, uh, 1875, the original part of the house in the the body of the house you can see at one time there you can see where the rear of the house was Perfect. and it was and it was bumped out and then this other little bump out was uh added at some point yeah so did you lose any um did the wall did the rear walls with the insulation gain any thickness or anything that will be a problem working you know around it might i mean we uh, as you can see it was we didn't do anything to the trim. Mm -hmm. It just, uh, it still has a profile. Right. Um, well, I, I guess uh, it's kind of hard to tell from this photograph, but uh, this trim board, does it sit on top of the? Yeah. Uh, okay, so it's it, on it, top. Yes. So is the, was the asphalt, the, the asphalt was over, Clabbered and then the clabbered was on the studs and there was no insulation. Yeah. Okay. But when you took the asphalt off, obviously the clabbered wasn't in there reusable. So yeah. then actually we shouldn't, there wouldn't really be a concern about a change in, in profile because if anything, it would be getting thinner, not thicker. Well, it depends. Depends on uh, how thick the insulation that they're adding. I would assume it's going to be rigid insulation, right? Yeah. It's a board as opposed to. Uh, I think they just, I think they, I'm not, they use, I think uh, they use bat, the bat. bat, I think they just use bats yeah. between the studs. Okay. But they didn't have to, they didn't have to like pack out anything onto the back of the studs, do you recall? Mm -hmm. to, I don't think so. Yeah. Well, I think it was probably smaller. So, <laughs> excuse me, sometimes when people try to re-insulate from the outside in, it can create, you know, it can make the walls kind of thicker. I understand. And, and it can kind of start to envelop your windows and things like that. But if you're just using the available space and removing this layer of asphalt, then mm -hmm. that shouldn't really be a problem. Except is that asphalt or asbestos? That uh, looks like asbestos board. Yes. The applicant has said that it is asphalt, so I will take the applicant at their word. Um, okay. Uh, this is the east side and right? Yes. Uh, and then the other side is yes. the little yes. alleyway. Yes, it's uh, between the two houses. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I don't have any issue with this at all. I think it would be great. I, my only, um, just again, just if if you as you get into the greater details of the project, if there is anything on the trim that is going to be of a concern, um, any of the trim that's damaged, you know, if, if it's wood, you can replace it with you can repair it with wood, and that just, you don't have to come back to us for that. But if any of the profiles for any reason need to change, um, I think we would just want to get an update. I, I mean, I don't anticipate the, that. There I wasn't any <laughs> at, the, at the rear of the house, right. and it just, it looks so much better. Mm -hmm. And it's also part of why, you know, we sat, we sat on this for a couple of years mm -hmm. um, or more. And um, recently had someone in looking to put heat pumps in. Mm -hmm. And because we the insulation is so poor, the equipment they would have to use, I mean, it was just it was like $80,000. It was going to be just insane. And so he said, well, you know, if you really did want to go back and, and really properly insulate your house, that's the equipment that you will need. The, the cost of it will go down um, mm -hmm. a lot. So that's that's part of it to the project. And what about the around the front? Um, all of this trim around the back. I mean, this is all just staying. Yes, it's, it's like... all it, it's all just flat. The uh, the if you could my little, little oh, scale right, drawing right, that right, I did. Right, it yeah. shows you how much flabber there is in the front. There's really not a lot. That's the side, mm -hmm. and uh, this is the front, and and it is just right there. This is all just flat. So oh, yeah, and none of that has flat. to be removed or anything for the no, insulation. Not at all. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's just the main walls themselves. Yeah. And Brian, any questions? Actually, just want if it's considered a replacement in kind. Um, it isn't because the asphalt is coming up as well. Oh, okay, and it's a different texture too. Okay, yeah. It's just returning to its roots. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's exciting. Um, yeah. Do I have a motion concerning the application? Uh, I would move to accept the application as submitted. Do I have a second? I will second. All in favor say aye. 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 Also, so well, now, now what happens? Uh, I process uh, the application and uh, I'll send you, an, actually I send an email to the building inspector, but I copy you on it so that you have a copy of the uh, certificate of progress. Okay. Great. And that then will work on the building property too. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, two depot square. Hi, that's me. Hi. Hi, sorry, I'm in the hospital visiting someone, so not there in person. Uh, no problem. Um, so this is for uh, across from depot restaurant, yep. putting a gate at the top of the stair, the load steps in front. Um, in the application, you can see from the sides already an, an aluminum perimeter fence um, that returns back here. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then this is, is it the, oh, <laughs> is it the um, arch? You said it was the second one. Is it yeah, the one? So sort of the a top Mm -hmm. The top row, the second one on the top row with the arch. That's what I thought. Okay. That's the gate. Mm -hmm. um, and the only other question I had just flipping through the, the uh, materials, uh, do you know whether you'll have to have any, you're, you're going to have to have returns coming in from the sides. I'm assuming those will just be all of the same. All of the same, yeah. yeah. Um, so they have to go in a little bit just so that there's enough um, space for that gate. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's going to do the same fence and sort of extend because you sort of see it already extends into the staircase a little. 
And right, then it's going to yeah. take that and go further in and then put the gate. Okay. Well, I, I guess uh, I see the, the, the fence on one side. Uh, it's kind of behind this tree. So this is the railing, but then this is the fence here. Okay, I see that. And so then what she's saying is comes there's through. going to be two kind of shorter portions coming towards the concrete. And then the paint will be basically just the width of the concrete. So in other words, the, the fence will go this way rather than the... the yeah, so there'll be new there'll be a new section added here, right. here, and then the gate itself will be okay. And this is the gate with, the gate. with with the little curved top arch. And if you see the perimeter fence from the front, it has the it's um flat. The, yeah, but it has the pickets. It has the pickets that extend. Yeah, so this is just giving it a little detail. It should yeah, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, so in effect, if I can mark, you know, if I'm marking this up, in reality, we're not going in this direction any, just going across. The, the little diagram that you showed shows mm -hmm. little pieces of fence going further north. Or yeah, that's right. Of, so can we zoom in if we can? Yeah. Yeah, right there. So and, and let's say taking a look at this, you know, I see where the fence ends here. Are we talking about going this way and then in <laughs> uh, so uh, what I was asking is are you going to have to extend the ex the two short fences that come up on either side of the steps are you going to have to extend them further yes. closer to the building and then okay I missed yes. yes. the I thought in the lines were representing the piece of fence that was already there so it'll come forward It'll go back in another about another four feet. Mm -hmm. So it'll uh, go into the sidewalk right there. So that that fence is there, and then they're going to extend that further towards the property. Okay. All right. So essentially, what you're doing is you're creating a top landing at the steps. Yeah, exactly. There'll be a top landing on the so steps how, before the how gate. Are the steps? Um, I don't have that off the top of my head. Okay, because uh, the depth of the top landing uh, only has to be the same as the width of the stairs. Okay. Which, you know, just looking at it, it looks like it's four foot anyway, so. Well, but this is also a panelized fence, so I'm sure four feet is probably the minimum that they could put a premium panel. Unless okay. They... Yeah, but, I cut it but to clarify, we are going to, this is new, this is new, the gate's new. And, Correct. Yeah. Um, all right. Who is who is going to establish? Well, let me put it this way. I recommend that you talk to the building inspector to see what he wants to see as far as the top landing on the stairs, and use that to uh, determine where the gate is actually set. Okay. Now, the uh, the the side pieces are going to match the existing? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay, anybody have any other questions concerning the application? No. No. Okay, do I have a motion concerning the application? And I am going to put some notes on the, uh, on the plans. I will move to submit the application as modified indicating the uh, size of the top line. I will second. All those in favor say aye. 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 aye.
approved three to zero. Thank you. Thank Great. You. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I will remember the rest. Okay. So with that, we are now going into workshops. Uh, okay, so 12 Morris Avenue is not going to be here. You must be Irene. Yeah. Well, come on <laughs> down. Hi, thanks everybody. Come join us. Tell us all about what you want to do. And I um a bit of a day and um so I don't have anything to fix it. Okay. okay. Oh, all right. So yeah. We actually can. Um, I think Irene's materials are on our website. If we want to look at them. Yeah, I had. I sent them. I was supposed to be part of your meeting. I think it was in June, and I missed it by. Yeah. That's all right. It's one of those days. Oh, that is certainly not my house. But so that, yeah, <laughs> no. Those, yes, I'll, I'll, I'll look for it. Okay, so, so I live at Six Pauling Avenue, mm -hmm. and um, my house is attached to Eight Pauling, so I'm an attached house. And uh, my house has been modified many times, I believe it's from 1890 or 1880. Yes. Um, but if you were to see it, you would never think that due to mm -hmm. the vinyl siding. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she doesn't have a list of the card application. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. So this is like two questions built into one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've had stuff done to the house. The kitchen has been remodeled. Um, so there's two parts to this question. We're going to do a modest, what we think is a modest bump out to the back. Okay. Okay. And I have some drawings about that that are not solidified, but I have some drawings about that. We at first we're going to do a double bump out, but then the cost of that got crazy. So now it just like bump out of the kitchen or the the bottom mm -hmm. to match what our neighbor Eight Balding has already has a bump out, okay, and kind of to match that. Mm -hmm. So I don't expect that to be a difficult approval or anything like that. Um, the question is, let me just see what the pictures that I took that could like be helpful here. Um, let me just show you perhaps maybe that might be a little helpful. Okay. So, and I'll show you pictures of my house. So from what's visible from this, the side of the house is the driveway. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you get the side of the house. Okay. And my front of my house, again, when you see live pictures, it'll make more sense. The stairs come up this way, not front of the house, but you scoop around and go up and then go into the front of the house. Okay, and then in the back, you go all the way back and you have to go upstairs to get into the, okay. So then um, I'm gonna do this six foot bump out with a little porch, all right? And stairs that would have to go up and meet that, mm -hmm. all right? And I think it was during COVID, I had a little bit of a, informal workshop with everybody online. I remember this. Yeah, you remember this. Yes. Yeah, this was supposed to be done in 2020. Yes. Yeah, you totally remember. Yes. Yeah, I'm like, uh, so anyway, mm -hmm. it's back. It never quite went away, but it seems to be like lurching forward at this point. Mm -hmm. So let's just be happy about that, right? Let's just be happy about progress. It's you not know? <laughs> well. <you know? laughs> so anyway, and we hope that the progress is not lurching, but smooth. Okay, anything. Yeah, <laughs> kitchen is now done. The kitchen has been updated. Oh, right. um, I hopefully that was the worst of it. Is, so, is this a, a two-family house? 
No, my house, uh, so it is an attached house, but my house is not a two family house and neither is the next door one. Okay. okay, there's, there's. Because I, I do remember a house which had a configuration like this. And uh, I remember the, there was an upper level and lower level and there was all sorts of stairs going everywhere. So I, that might be not... on Academy across the street. That might be that one. Um, so this is the front of my house, okay? That's the driveway. This is the view from the driveway, and I'll show other pictures. So what we basically wanted to do was make a wraparound porch. Mm -hmm. Going okay? all the way to the back. From the front along the side of the house mm -hmm. to, the, to meet the mm -hmm. back of the house, which would take care of some of the stair situation and also just the hanky janky look of like a block here mm -hmm. and a block here, okay? All right, but the architect, so, so right now, and I'll try to find other pictures, I just wanna show, right now you pull into my driveway and you go upstairs, I go upstairs and now I'm facing Polly. Mm -hmm. And then I turn this way and this way I can get into my house. Yeah. There's no stairs from here's the front of my house. There's nothing like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the architect that we've been working with and just everybody who I've been talking with, they're like, listen, the problem is if you want to do the wraparound porch, okay, or the front entry stairs to the house, mm -hmm. okay, cannot keep the current stairs that you have because I would be walking under the new porch to try right. to get up the stairs. Right. So we would have to figure out how to do front stairs, mm. okay? Which also might be um, putting it back in its original appearance perhaps because everything yeah. around me doesn't have a porch like this. No, yeah. it's big because it's, the door there, correct. I can't imagine it just I'm just gonna try to look for other pictures right now yeah. so it's not like so. I wonder if the maybe there were front steps like a, up to the porch, up to the landing for the front door, and maybe they rotted and you know, people Okay. So yeah, so here again oh. you gotta go up those hanky janky stairs. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you get into the house. And then I have pictures of what, houses around what is under the porch. Under the porch. Okay. So you see there's this door, mm -hmm. and again, if, or if you're just ever curious to go and look at eight Pauling and my, okay, it looks like, so it was modified. Yeah. There should be stairs going down oh. into another front doorway or the doorway to the basement, uh -huh. okay? So what you have now is it's just even with the driveway, tuck under that doorway like a hobbit, all right? Uh -huh. And then you can go down two sets of like two steps, okay. and then you go into my basement. Right. Yeah, okay. the village has a quite a few. Of those. Yes, it's again, it's it box. In and, if yeah. you go to eight Paulding, you I think you see what might, if mm -hmm. not the original, but like maybe mm -hmm. something that was updated in 1930. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. Right. Where it's deeper steps, but if that was the case, the steps would have to start like here. Right. Okay. But they're also. The grade, I mean, not that it's a significant change, but you're on a bit of an incline too. So it's, there. Probably... I think some of it is also, if you did, like, again, this concrete, that this little sidewalk concrete, mm -hmm. like, it, and I don't know, I don't know, you know, mm -hmm. they had a couple of beers and did it one day, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, I, it, nothing strikes me as, like, particularly well done. Mm -hmm. but, um, but you can see, like, again, the, there's really thick slabs of not slate, but like you see them around. They're almost like it used to be curb, curbs or something, you know, like oh, really yeah. thick. Oh, those yeah. Are the stairs. Yeah, I have one that's yeah. under my front step. Yeah, those used to be the sidewalk. They used to be the sidewalk. Yeah. Okay, so one of those is the top stair, mm -hmm. and then there's concrete. But I had a bunch of those just strewn around the backyard yeah. when we first moved in, right? So um, I'm not sure what they did to make it not like that mm -hmm. okay um so i don't so know if that answers the, your question well yeah i just have a question so what's the relationship between the proposed bump out and the wraparound porch does the bump out remove the need for the porch or is that what's requiring the, that's re the bump out will have to have its own porch like like roof 
of a porch. So the okay. porch that comes out from that door to there is about maybe four feet, give or take, you know, maybe from door to the end of the rail. Mm -hmm. um, so what I wanted, uh, and you see this, this little roof, mm -hmm. okay? So when you go, if you were to go into the bump out, right, it would have also like a little roof. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. To make it even, to make it kind of look even. But I can't do a wraparound porch and keep the current stairs that I have. It's basically the mm -hmm. end right. of the conversation. Yeah. With, you know. That makes sense. So what's the, I, my question is, how are you proposing have, are you going to have rear steps on the yes. porch as well? Yes, from the backyard. From the backyard. So the, um, so pretend you walk up the, from Paulding, mm -hmm. okay? and you go in, and then you can go into the, you know, walk around to the back or to the back of the house or the back door, and then yes, there would be stairs that would descend into the backyard. Okay. Okay, and then um, I'm hoping the stairs could be like down and a little platform and come down just because. You know, or I, I right. know, my my everybody in my family can barely do those stairs. So like, you know, anyone who visits me from Long Island is like, uh, you know. So, right. um, but yes, they would be coming down. They would not be another set of stairs like jutting out to the side. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, along obviously along that strip. Though. Yeah, I'm just wondering about whether the there's two things yeah. starting from the back you know it's not uncommon to see kind of wrap around porches where rather than fully wrapping around the outside of the house it's you go down sort of this on the porch down the side and actually enter the house itself yeah. at the end of the porch rather than going around again and then coming in through the side does that make sense can you draw it for me? I think so, so, but I don't want to misunderstand. Like, uh, something where you would have your front door here. Okay. This would be porch. And then instead of having a door here to get into the house, your house, your house is sort of actually bumped out to here. And then this is house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and you have a door here. Um, if you're going to be adding space to it and then in the and then in the rear like you said you would have a stoop and a couple of stairs going down into the yard i guess i'm i'm wondering whether whatever you have planned for this bump out that you're putting in the back could that volume be added so, sort of onto the side and i don't know what you're using it for but so it might not yeah. help but the yeah. only thing is i'm no, thinking there you know what I mean? That's why I'm here. I have no idea what I'm allowed to do. You know, it's the back of the house, and the house has been modified. Like, again, I'm not sure what I can do. We There is a project on Main Street. Um, I mean, yes, I would love do, more space. Mm -hmm. do, you, <laughs> do you have any information about the history of the house? Um, meaning what? I know the original owners or the family of the original owners. Okay. Juries, yeah, like before the uh, I want to say 1890, but it could also have been 1880. I have that information, but I don't have it on me right now. And I have some from the um, historic. Oh, the Putnam uh, History Museum? Yeah, no, not this, but like the, like, no, the fire um, insurance plan. Oh, like that. Yeah. Um, Kathleen Foley, I think, said yeah. 18 years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I can have more information on that. But the house, just again, for whatever curiosity you have or don't have, um, it's it was probably, it was probably like a two-family house or like a, mm -hmm. like a big unit, and then it got divided into two. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of went weird back and forth or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, okay. To answer your first question, uh, on the back, chances are, uh, is the back visible? Well, I remember we were looking a couple of years ago at maybe like a deck or something smaller that you were trying to put in your back of the house. Okay. And we actually okay. couldn't see it from anywhere. But that was only, that was close to grade. Standing at the front of the house? You, right, you would not do because everything would stay linear to the side of the house. Right. Like obviously, if you're standing in my driveway or approaching it from the side, from the street, 
um, you would you would have seen that extension. And if you went around the other side to Academy, right, it would match the eight Paulding bump out. At least if it's just a person. And I think that's what I can't remember what it was that we talked. Oh, maybe it was just a, a window change when you were doing There's your also kitchen. A window. Yeah, it was like can we determine do this? that yeah. the bump out next to you actually prevented the sight line from academy. So it's it's visible, but it's minimal. It's very minimal. And there, there's obviously precedent next door of changes to it. The only reason why I'm talking about doing this wraparound porch thing, to and enter the it was the house next to, um, on one down from High Street, I can't think of the little bit, sure. brick house, one down from, one south of, two down from um, High Street, and, and James like enclosed part of their, they had a wraparound porch and James like enclosed part of it to make a breakfast room. Jenny. Oh, oh, Jenny and Kevin. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's on Main Street. Oh, I mean, yeah. Sure. yeah, no, I know the house. Yeah, so I was looking at that. I was like, that's what I want. That's kind of, yeah. I mean, they had an existing porch that Correct. they filled in, but I, in terms of just stealing space, mm -hmm. that would be something yeah, that I steal in space creating space. Well, stealing space from wherever we can get it. Yeah. That would be something that I feel like would be, would relate to other modifications that we've seen around yeah. the village. Because I, I would like to have full honesty. I was like, oh, we'll get the wraparound pouch, and then a year later, we'll just post it with all kind of glass stuff. Okay. So it's like, well, the yeah, other thing is bit, that it, yeah, exactly. it changes your rear facade so that, because what it sounds like you're running into a little bit of difficulty is, is this roof line of this wraparound porch coming all the way around, hitting the edge of the building, mm -hmm. and then there being this other extension, and then that needed right. to have its own roof overhang and porch and everything else. So, if you can, what's the problem with that? I mean, it just it, there's not a you, problem with it, yeah, but just you, from a you can geometry take, standpoint, you can, well, you can kick this around, and then on the back you have another bump out, which I, I would assume you have is room for that. But uh, you know, that way. It's symmetrical along that line. Can I draw on that? Yes, of course. And so I think just to um, put in two uh, D what you just said. Okay, this is the holding. Okay, so it's the front, and I'm just going to make this the roof of the porch. Okay, the wraparound porch. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the porch. Right, that you can go on there. Mm. Okay, and then so this is about four feet or whatever, and then this is the six foot bump out, and so then the front stairs would be here, I'm guessing, and then there would be back stairs here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to what you were saying to have it linear. Now, if I was allowed to have like you know French doors here or something really pretty um, to make this wall go away part of the conditions right exactly mm -hmm. you know that would be somehow wonderful you know what i mean or like in, i don't know but i'm just saying yes as, to your point as, uh, your architect check to see if you have any lot coverage issues i um can you what do you mean by lot coverage there are zoning regulations which limit how much of your lot do you how much floor area in comparison to the lot area that you're allowed to have? Um, as far as I know, there's there's nothing conflicting with even anything that we said here. Okay. Um, but again, I that's my understanding that there's nothing conflicting. We have the um, the survey, the land survey. Yeah. Okay, right. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, it's, I'm picturing it's like actually. Yeah. So we have that, and there was nothing conflicting with that. And then also, again, informally just me going around looking at what maybe was original to houses or what seems to have been added. Um, you know, it's not a grandiose, big, crazy fat bump out. or It's, right. it's not like I'm making an attached house or mm -hmm. something like that. Um, well, actually, if you were going to do the bump out to mirror what's next door to you, that would, you would need a variance for that because that would be new construction in right. the side yard setback. I would need a variance, but like it, it doesn't. I mean, like it. A but variance it to me adding, is like a normal request. I mean, well, yeah. yeah. I mean, adding. Uh, well, no, don't say that. 
you know. Theoretically, a variance is not supposed to be issued unless there is, uh, you know, a very good reason why it should be issued. And that very often is not the case. But uh, a variance just means that you can't comply with uh, the zoning regulations. And so what's the point of having zoning regulations if uh, the village winds up giving out variances when, you know, whenever anybody asks? Yes. Also be mindful that the zoning chapter zoning just changed um, six weeks ago. And so there's different zones now throughout the village and the dimension, yeah. the table dimension has okay. changed. So I would have your architect look at that just to make sure because what they looked at six months ago to what's on the books now has changed. Okay, no, right. And you also would probably need a variance as well for your front steps coming off the front of the building. That, that yes. It's moving towards the sidewalk. Yes. But that, to Hal's point, is a very common variance that people need because people need steps going into their homes. Good yeah. question. Do you mean um, variance from, from the zoning board? Yes, because yes. it would okay. be I understand. in the front yard. It would be construction in the yes. front. Yes. Well, yeah. I, I mean, ultimately, the way to proceed is your your architect should investigate all of this and, and then when you prepare the drawings they submit them to the building inspector and he he will advise you of any variances that you need to get okay so what is my next step with you all well if we can look can we look at the front of the building again where you where you've um drawn in uh yeah. i'm not an architect oh. so here, you know, where you need the front steps, I think we would, uh, need to have a very good idea of how those steps are going to relate to the front of the building, because it, judging from the rear steps, it's a pretty significant height yeah, difference it's pretty yeah and um, yeah so i don't know whether i can't think of another example of a house where there are steps that come up you know that hug the, the front side of the house to get onto a porch i know there are steps that go along the front of the house to just go to the front door like on Stone Street, Ryan Trow's house on Stone Street. Oh, yeah. He has a stoop that goes along the, as you have this drawn. Yeah. But that's just, that's, those are steps. Well, I, that, that and also, steps. I don't know if you'd be able to fit in a stair of that height along the face of it. Because uh, the ratio of the tread to the riser is for every uh, seven inches. It's 11 inch and 11 inch tread. Almost you, you mean this one, like the side one? Yeah. yeah. They were like, try to see if there's an option. My, my again, uh, observation and my guess, just to your point, I'm like, that would be like some, in, it wouldn't be at all the code, mm -hmm. you know, and it would probably look janky as hell. Uh, but this one can, can, would probably Nico, but it would come to yeah. towards the sidewalk. Um, and then there's a question of what you put in it. And then you can, yeah. Yeah. What do you mean in it? Well, just how is that dressed as far as like underneath the stairs? Oh, as opposed like yeah, like lattice or yeah. I that's what I yeah I I assumed a lattice or some some kind of thing where it you know it wouldn't be closed in perhaps, but. Or, or maybe I I don't think yeah like that you know I can whatever we put our salt in there or like you know the Amazon things get dropped off there I have yeah. no idea it would essentially become your front lawn it um, would I would put like the front where this is from the, the my driveway to that would probably you're right become that but then I have this really pretty with all the butterfly bushes yeah mm -hmm. um, do you have an idea of height that the stairs would have in other words, what's the height from grade up to the deck? Yeah. Uh, from here to here? Yeah. Um, you said the door on the side is not a full height door. No, yeah, that's not a full height door. Yeah. Um, I think it's eight feet. Eight feet. Or it's something odd, like, you know. Yeah. 
Well, it, it, eight and you know right. almost nine feet, yeah. so which makes it weirder, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but from the from the front of the house to the street is something like twelve feet. I think. I seven eleven. Remember that ratio. Seven eleven. Yeah. Seven. Um, seven inches. feet. Is. 11 five, inches. Five inches. Is this 11 inches. Why is that The tread is 11 inches. Oh, the tread. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And the, and it and has to be right, 7 inches. The, and the yeah, rise. right riser is 7. 7. I'm like, remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I told you. Okay. Um, I wonder whether I would, I wonder whether this building was built with just a stoop and a little mm. entrance under the stoop. Like I think so. An entrance. I can't imagine they would have had any type of a porch like this originally. I think so. I, I do think that that was the original way just to get into the buildings on both, you know, a, mm -hmm. maybe both of them. I'm not mm -hmm. sure. Um, because up here, you know, again, it looks like even when you're in the house, it looks like, oh, there's a door there. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when you walk into my basement and you're in the basement, then you're immediately there's a set of stairs and they just like keep going. You know, each floor has that. Mm -hmm. So it's it's tricky. I, I actually, you know, and then I'm like, I don't know if you were coming from the other house. You know what I mean? Like, I really don't know. Yeah, it's very strange that your stairs are not on the common wall. But because as soon as you open your front door, your stairs are right in front of you. As soon as I open this front door, yeah, no. Oh, the stairs are on the. No, no, I have to walk here and go down that way. Uh, no, to get up to the second story. Oh, to get up to the second story. Yes, when you open my this front door, mm -hmm. you open up those set stairs. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's a little space there, but right, you know, it, right, yeah, it, no, it's enough just... for the door to open, and then yeah. you like you can go right up the stairs, and um, yeah. And then it's so I'm not I'm not sure. Um, I do know that each, including the basement, so we have a shared chimney in each of the basement and first floor and second floor. Each have a cold stove bump out, mm -hmm. so maybe I don't think they were fireplaces. Um, you know, so there's a lot of that. Sort of like a brownstone. Yeah. Brownstone. Yeah, yeah. Like right, a parlor floor. We're building two. Yeah semi-detached row house style floor plans. Why don't you put the staircases on the common wall? Uh, yes, I would think so. So that you wouldn't oh, lose well, the opportunity for windows on the exterior, mm -hmm. on the three walls? Well, uh, except I would think that uh, it all depends on how much one side wants to deal with the other. Because if they're on the common wall, then you know, the interaction between the two tenants would be a lot more intense than if they're separated. Yeah, that's an excellent point. Oh, really? I would think that the staircases would create a sort of buffer where you're separate and you're, all of your activity is happening further away from the common wall. No, but then you hear them going up and down the stairs. Mm -hmm. or but like only that. when you're going up and down the stairs yourself. <laughs> yeah, but so like and it is an interesting acoustics with the houses. So the eight holding, I think, is a little bit more is in my guess, a little bit more intact. Mm -hmm. um, so you go up her stairs and you're on the second floor and then you can turn around and just go down a little hallway and go up to the attic, which is a third bedroom mm -hmm. for that house. Mm -hmm. But her two bedrooms on that floor are kind of joined like this. Mm -hmm. And there's a very tiny bathroom at the top of the stairs. My house is almost opposite from that. I'm like, I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. You go up my second stairs and then you go into my son's room, which is about the size of this table, mm -hmm. right? We have a hallway, go, and then there's a bathroom, which is bigger, right, than any bathroom I've seen in the village. Mm -hmm. And then our bedroom is pretty big, but you go through our bedroom to get up to the attic. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so if you go into the eight Paulding house, I'm like, this looks like it was left alone. Mine looks like it was modified Mine somehow, was but good. you can't quite figure out some of the thinking. Right. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Well, I, you know, I have to wonder if this was built as housing for the uh, foundry workers. Yes, that's what we were told. Yeah. Foundry workers house and like, a, I don't know if a boarding house is the right term, but right. like, you know, yeah, 
Yeah, it was just a rooming house. That's right. It was a rooming house. And, um, you know, because we're at the bottom of the hill and we go up all the way, we're like, oh, we're, yeah. we don't know where those people are. Yeah. Maybe it was actually intended to be, maybe they were intended to have more of an alliance thing they built through. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, you could very easily slap another unit onto the end of the right, right, right. Okay, but as for reality, yes, in the okay. current time. Right. I know, just as an, <laughs> as an interesting kind of now. As an interesting idea. I now. think that, you know, as as far as reclaiming space or establishing new spaces to ease your um, first floor constraints, I think that you know if if you're going to be going through the trouble of increasing the space, certainly having a porch that dies into a conditioned space or something like that is is not without precedent and certainly wouldn't be something that we would deny as of. As an aesthetic or as a historical. Yeah, I mean, history. we would want to see it, how it would, how it looked and how it was detailed in the portions of it, but it isn't a deal breaker. It isn't. Um, and again, I think because you're dealing with these heights and you're dealing with the yard, you want to make sure that your staircases are not, you know, even going from the kitchen back into the backyard. You just want to make sure that all of your staircases are comfortable and yeah. sized nicely and aren't. Um, no, like death traps and yes. just and also yeah. bizarre looking. Yeah, right. exactly. In the yeah. front, I don't really know what the best course of action is at the front because well, used just coming straight to the street is is going to be without my drawing on it. Okay. Yeah, coming straight to the street is going to be pretty wild. Well, um, well it'll but, definitely change the 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 immediate look of the house. I, I mean, ideally, it would it would be nice to uh, enter it in the center of porch but that's not where the door is right and so uh, it really sort of makes sense to put the stairs where the door is because that's what you're where you're going to but i have seen and i i can't i just can't find them right now but from around the neighborhood the pictures that i took so you'll have like let's just say the, the door all, all the way over to the Sorry. the left or right over to the side and then you have you know the porch go up uh, the stairs go up with a railing to the center and they go over to the side so i can take pictures of that like and then across the street the mancuria house i don't know what number of holding it is is the blue house there's again there's been modification but yes that that one walks up and the, the door is on the corner but the porch mm -hmm. is there's stairs and then the porch goes that way well the other approach that you can take is that uh, you, you and a lot of it will also depend on what you're doing in the back. If you're if you come up on the uh, driveway side, mm -hmm. then essentially what you're doing is you're giving uh, significance to the fact that you you come up, you walk through, and you can go to the back. Correct. Right. So that may be something, and I think a lot of it depends on on what you want to do in the back. Yeah, and that's again what the architect was trying to explain. You know, like you can have the the stairs maybe come down and face, you know, the 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 driveway, so you get the idea that you walk up on the landing, and go up. Because, but that's going to come out pretty wide. Right. You know what I mean? Is like so. You know, but if there is this additional way to create the space of the house, you know, maybe it makes more sense. I don't mm -hmm. know. But I have to have. I think it's great advice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Um, and I think one of the options might have to also be just removing the porch altogether and having a mm. front stoop to your okay. front door and maybe a side porch that incorporates everything else. Okay. I mean, that yeah, gives okay. you, okay. I mean, I, again, we would have to see it, mm -hmm. but I'm thinking like, um, I mean, it's a totally different proportion, but like Tara Sullivan's house, so she has like mm -hmm. her front mm -hmm. door, her front steps, and then like yeah. right down the side, she has another couple of steps and a side yeah. door. Yeah, so I know that. that way, you know? Okay. I'll take a look at that. Yeah, like I said, I'm not sure what I can play. Porch, I mean, which is, if, the front porch. if that's a big part of what you want to do, but 
you'd also it also seems to be getting in the way. It's weird. Kind of. I mean, yeah. It's yeah. So yeah. Totally it's odd. It is they want to make it odd. Well, no, but it's like reverse. We're, yeah. we're we're trying to like reverse engineer, reverse engineer. the porch being there, yeah. but really, if it's not a character defining feature of the house and right. antiquity, then maybe it's not something that we should be building back into mm -hmm. uh, unless it's something that you really use and really want and really yeah. love the aesthetics of and everything else but if that yeah. space could be kind of reconfigured yeah. yeah the only thing would be like again how to figure out the basement entry you know like the basement entry because well, you'd have, right to top, you'd have to have the top landing anyway. Like the top landing, right. The other but you're saying, percent. like, I understand now. Okay. So, which would probably be roughly the width of your, that you would need to get into the basement itself. Okay. And then you'd have the steps, and then, yeah, I mean, that's all part of the challenge. All right. Yes, but thank you. Okay. Uh, well, and it might actually clear up a little bit of space, too, along your driveway, if you were, if you were just kind of transitioning is that a window? Oh, no. That, no, that's like that's that area. other. Oh, so okay. that's um. No, no, I was okay. I was looking at this. Yeah, no, that's my deck. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it might clear up the entry a little bit to the house, and then you'll still have, uh, you know, if you if you're putting volume onto the rear corner with with. A straight run of steps going towards it, then you'd have those overhangs for all of your bins and all of that stuff. But you clear that space along the driveway towards the front. Okay. So just again, so I picture what you're saying is, let's pretend this goes away. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I do have a stoop or a, a small landing, uh, you know, um, stairs going up, but mm -hmm. it's contained. It's not like this. Yeah, you know, it's eight a, foot wide. Right, you know, right. But like it's just basic steps going up from the street, still from the street. From the direction of the street, but it, you'd be able to set it that much further back because, because you wouldn't have the same. I you see. probably wouldn't have the same depth. I don't know how wide this is already off of this. I mean, if this depth from the from your front door to the edge of this porch is already only it's like four feet, maybe three feet. Something yeah, like so you'd still you wouldn't really be gaining that much space. Yeah, I, I mean, realistically, I, I'm not totally sure what the advantage would be of demolishing it. Uh, and you're going to wind up rebuilding pretty much what you have there now. So I, I think that the only thing that, that that would do is you could sort of differentiate between two sets of stairs, but you still have to, you know, why devote that much space to two sets of stairs, use one set of stairs, which takes you up to that porch level and, and just get on with it. But I understand what you're saying. Like that would be putting stairs in the front, right? Without mm -hmm. creating necessarily the wraparound idea would eliminate that entry, that steps going uh, up that way, right? How, how would you eliminate the entry to the basement? I'm sorry? You said, uh, I mean, this like going up oh, the, and right, eliminate you, the way to get up into there. If I had stairs coming out the front, right, but not having these stairs here, that's the whole point. Is like I have to get rid of this in order to do any of that. Mm -hmm. But it then I still have like again this little mud room, if you will, you know, that that's how we get in and out. Um, frequently, that's how I get in and out. My husband hates it. But <laughs> But the idea of again, kind of just restructuring that and creating a wraparound idea and elim eliminating this thing, you know, that to your point, you know, is sort of like it's not as redundant, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Right. But I, I, I will take any suggestions. So it's okay. like, you know, again, it's, you know. Try and find some uh, photographs. Of the house and see if it gives you any clues to what may have been there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll try to find that information again. I know I'm 99% certain it was some kind of a boarding house or um, mm -hmm. a worker's boarding house. Is that what you called it? Yeah. Um, yeah. Worker, worker housing. housing. Yeah, worker housing mm -hmm. uh, for the foundry. Um, so 
Okay, great. All right. Well, we'll be meeting again on September 5th. Oh, yeah. I was going to ask. Okay. Um, and then we'll be back on to mm -hmm. our kind of more regular schedule of the first Tuesday of every month. So we can add you again um, if there's anything to talk about, or we can talk about it in October. Okay. I might come back in September. Okay. Just let us know. Um, I'm going to be away, so just make sure that if you want to come to the meeting, you tell Karen Herbert, our board secretary. Okay, great. And then she'll make sure you're on the agenda. Mm -hmm. At 7.30? So how's everybody doing? Sure. Okay. Summer is the first day of school. I know. Yay. <laughs> Summer, right? Yeah. I feel like I missed it with the fires, and then July was just such this heat box rain thing that I missed a good, like, summertime. Well, what shocked me is that August was always the hottest month in this year. It's been down. It's been, yeah. It's been kind of, but this week has been beautiful. But so. the thing that concerns me is the hurricane season hasn't come yet. I know. Well, it has on the west coast. Oh, uh, yeah, no more rain. Oh, my basement flooded. Your basement flooded? Did you have a store? Yeah. My studio. I lost a bunch of drawings. It was awful. I know. It washed. I actually wasn't home. <laughs> Um, I it, she had pictures on my kitchen. It takes like we do have water that just like washes from high street down, and somehow I because I wasn't home, somehow it, it washed like right into really? the okay, studio door. Stolen. From the backyard. From like, the backyard? Oh, that's crazy. And it, like the concrete inside my studio floor was just like just soaking so wet. Oh. Can I take a picture of what you drew? Oh, um, sure. You can just take it. Oh, that's even better. Mm -hmm. Um, use kitchen. Oh, great. Oh, so nice because it's clean. Yeah. Clean. And what's the what was the goal for the for the rear bump out? Um, I have no way to eat in this kitchen. I have no dining area. Okay. Like, my kitchen is just like, again, like this table. Mm -hmm. And you walk in, and there's a little tiny area, but there's not enough to sit. Right. Yeah. So it's to create a eating cool space. Yeah, exactly. If it was at a party, it'd be stoked. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so, but everything is freshened up. And I can show you the one. And there's Shorty. Shorty's saying hi. Oh. Yeah. There's Shorty. Um, he's sitting there saying, hmm, What's going on? <laughs> Where's my, he's the only one allowed. Where's my house get kicked out? <laughs> thank you so much, and thank you so much for all like your input. Yeah, of course, it's really great. Hey, well, we wish you the best. Small, but complicated. I know that I know. Well, well, small as they are, <laughs> And it's also so the um, May Curie's Mr. May Curie passed away several months ago, but. His grandmother owned the house, uh -huh. and then I think the mother lived in the house for a little bit, and then his brother wound up buying the house. Mm -hmm. And I just get the sense, like in 1978 or between 78 and 81, they did things. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, like the vinyl siding and yeah. other like, oh, kind of these ideas, and I'm like, what? A lot of the houses in the village. Well, you said earlier it being one house that was split into two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That makes sense because what yeah. you said, I was like, it makes yeah, sense. Not, the like, entrance and the entrance to yeah. eight Paul, they would have been the main entrance to that house. Uh, right, exactly. Like it makes, it sense, makes sense, right? Yeah. yeah. So now you're like, ah, uh -huh, that's yeah. what's wrong with it. Yeah. Because it never fit as two separate. It's it like, doesn't look right. Like, yeah, right. Yeah, but it does. It's a mirror image of itself, but they did something to mine. And, <laughs> and uh, mine is also. Believe it or not, in better condition um, than the eight folding. Huh. You go in there and you're like, that looks from 1920, you know, whatever. It's, yeah. you know, it's, but whatever. Thank you so much. Everybody have a good night. All right. You well. Bye. Bye, Jeff. Nice to see you. Jeff is my neighbor. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs>
Um, do we want to look at these? And get them voted on. Yeah. Um, Uh, present I village. I guess that's supposed to be at. Okay, are you making all the corrections to him? Yeah. Oh, uh, except I don't think she's emailed him to me. We will give her a hard copy, and then it'll be as modified. Well, yeah. Okay. Um, on the twelve Morris, the the. First white bullet point, enlarge two existing basement windows, 36 by 54. The the um, inch mark is on the wrong side of the yeah. yeah. What was the thing that you were saying? That was the one that uh, I don't remember. Um, 17 Paris Street. Remove all three tabs, shingle roof from for entire house and go on. I think it's just brown entire house and brownish. Mm. Um, why not just say replace the shingle roof for the entire house? Uh, I think because what she's, it's actually, it should be remove all three tab shingled roofing because he's just removing the um, really shingles, shingles, make any necessary repairs, and then replace the new shingles. He's not actually rebuilding the roof itself. Mm -hmm. So, so we should say roofing. Remove all three tab shingle, shingled, shingled roof. roofing from entire house garage. So scratch out four. And change roof to roof. It's not the structure, it's the fire. Then the second bullet point should probably be indent because that really goes with the removing. You remove that, you make the necessary repairs, and then you're going. Yeah, so the bullet points two and three should be uh, indented. All right, combine the two. Sure, I'm not here to make static judgments. Well, yeah, but not about 20 minutes or potentially. Um, six calling. Uh, I don't remember talking about this. Well, I, I, all I remember is that we looked at it and said, uh, you know, really, 
we didn't really review it. Yeah. Every English was there. Right. Right. So the minutes might be a little um, misleading. Yeah, I, um, I, I would just leave it as homeowner Irene Piazza was absent, absent and just leave out the rest of that detail. Because then otherwise it sounds like we discussed it without right. it, which we really, so, if I recall, did not do. Well, no, I mean, I'll only to yeah. say that we looked at the drawing and said there's no way we can take it. Yep. So take out uh, everything after. No, no, no. no. Why, why don't we you know, take out? Discussion ensued regarding the proposed change. Mm -hmm. The applicant's presence is need to clarify the application and, and leave the, leave it as, yeah. as the point. And then the votes. Um, okay. Okay. So all three of us were here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do I have a motion concerning the minutes as modified? I will make a motion to approve the minutes as modified. I will second. All in favor say aye. 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 I will make a motion to adjourn. Oh, is there any gossip? I mean, public comment? <laughs> the public. Does anybody have anything to get on their chest? So who's going to give the markups to Karen? Um, did you write down the markups? I think I got them all. Okay, then Jeff will forward them. Yeah. Or just leave the hard copy. All right, well, I, I, I'll give you my markups in yeah. that way. And she can watch the video. Okay, I will make a motion to adjourn. I will second. All in favor say aye. 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 8.38. Jeez. You guys are doing good. Yeah. That was efficient. Um. I <laughs> haven't done 